Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at how to use Leech's um, platforms API with Python and then get some basic information. So if you are not familiar with Leech's, Leech's is a very popular online chess gaming platform and it is completely free and I guess it's also open source. So which means um, you can get all this information that you are basically seeing on this platform using an API. So before, um, before we look at the api so uh, if you want to see there are uh, basically different kinds of games um, like bullet blitz uh, rapid and uh, there are tournaments happening so basically if you want to play chess this is really a good platform um, unlike chess.com which is also a great platform but um, you don't get ads here so you don't uh, you don't actually see any ads uh, you can be a patron but uh, you don't get any ads it's completely uh, a very neat and uh, beautiful platform and you can also see people who are uh, People who are streaming so if you go to leeches tv so you'll uh, you'll get to see uh, the current games that are happening you can you can see different games so that's uh, that's quickly about leeches um, it's not spawn this video is definitely not sponsored by leeches or anything like that i just wanted to highlight a good platform so let's get into the leeches api so if you see leeches api um, there is an endpoint um, and there there are actually uh, you know a lot of different ways you can actually access the endpoint and uh, what we are going to do is uh, because uh, we like python so we are going to see how we can access the api through python and uh, the good thing for us is there is already a python package called uh, berserk so we can use this package and then do everything that we want with a bunch of simple functions so the first step uh, if you see the packages berserk uh, is that um, you need to have a token and where do you get the token and that's where we are going to go back to the platform and then create our first token so please mind that I'm going to show my token uh, while I'm on this video, um, but uh, please do not use the token anywhere um, because uh, this token is not supposed to be shared anywhere. So I'm, I'm going to go to my leeches profile and in that I'm going to go to preferences. After I get into preferences, I have to go to API access token. So there are two ways you can access the API. One is um, OAuth application. The second one is a personal token. So the personal token is the easiest way for you to do anything because you don't have to deal with login username password uh, putting username password is not safe uh, so if you have a token if you're using a local machine you can probably set it as an environment variable so you don't have to really uh, you know expose your token anywhere as a hard-coded token actually so that is a good thing so after you go here you click uh, generate a personal token uh, it's going to ask you what are all permissions you need you can just basically play with the permissions you need based on what you are creating for this token. So just because it's for a education purpose, I'm going to just leave it as it is. And I'm going to call it one little coder YouTube, which is just to say that we are doing it for one little coder YouTube. Once once you are done with that, you, you get your token. So you won't be able to see this token hereafter. So it is mandatory for you to either keep the screen or copy the token. In my case, I'm going to copy the token. But um, the other thing is you can delete the token that is already created. So this is other good advantage that you have other than, you know, using OAuth application is that if you have a personal token and if you think uh, your token has been compromised or you have shared it somewhere or um, like I'm showing it on a video, if you're showing it somewhere, you can revoke the access and delete the token so that uh, the token is not valid for your account anymore. So keeping this token here. Let's uh, go to a Google Collab environment. If you're not familiar with Google Collab, I'll link the video that I've created about Google Collab. Google Collab is a cloud-based programming environment where you can um, basically write Python code. Um, you can also, there are ways for you to write um, other languages, but uh, we are going to focus on Python. Um, uh, it, it, it gives you access to GPU, uh, TPU, and basically CPU. Um, so we are going to just deal with CPU in this case. The first step that we need to do is we need to install this package uh, berserk uh, so uh, to install this package there is no instruction here so basically what we are going to do is we are going to do whatever we used to do with any python package which is pip install and uh, berserk once um, this gets installed so let me let me zoom it a bit so you get to see what is happening here <coughs> this package is getting installed while this package is getting installed we can copy this token and then put it in a variable called token so basically this is not the right way to uh, and i'm going to delete this this is this is not the right way to um, expose your token uh, if you are using in a project the best way is to create a secret or environment variable but uh, just because i wanted to do it faster i'm going to do this so the next thing is once the package is um, installed successfully you can import the package 
uh, the package is successfully imported uh our next step is i don't know want uh, braves advertisement okay so the package is successfully installed so the next thing is we have to deal with authentication so i, I might probably you know add a little bit of text here saying loading the package and uh, here it is um, installing the package installing leeches api package and the next thing what we want to do is we want to deal with authentication with personal token so the token that we created uh, previously which we also created as a variable so we are going to use that and uh, that is quite simple so we we are going to do both the things at the same so, uh, so we are going to authenticate authentication and establish a session and session okay so we are going to do both instead of api token we are going to call it token so which means so this is for authentication and this is a session is established so at this point uh, we are into the system so we can start retrieving details that we want related to leeches the, the, there are a couple of um, things that we have to keep in mind there are uh, different kinds of details that you can get which is what we'll see in the documentation if you look at this documentation if you look at the uh, uh, usage so what you what you will actually see is you'll see that um, authentication is what we did so you can get account level information for example for the particular user the user uh, uh, with which i've uh, logged in you can get the user delayed user related details so for example if i have to get the details related to my account so i have to just say um, um client plus uh, sorry dot account dot get so if i do that so let me say get account details if i do that uh, it's going to basically give me all the details related to this particular account with which uh, we have created this personal token for example what is the leeches um, leeches url for this account what is the username for this account what is the rating for this account currently how many followers are there how many followers this account is following um when was this account created so all these basic information is um, uh, completion rate uh, game completion rate all the basic information you get that is uh, one part of your api it is account related information the second one is you can get a uh, user related information like for any user or uh, any team so for example if you want to see the top 10 uh, list uh, like let's say for user board let's say user board so what what we can do is we can say okay i i want the top 10 user uh, details like uh, let's say top 10 top 10 oops i wanted to give it the title top 10 uh, i want to get leaderboard for let's say bullet i want bullet details and uh, let's see what, what what it returns so it's going to return the top 10 uh, users uh, with bullet rating so you can see uh, this is the first one this is nihal sarin uh, i'm from india so nihal sarin is also from india um, very emerging talent from india so you can see all the top 10 um, anish giri another popular name on youtube top 10 uh, bullet players so let's say if i want to for blitz players so i can get uh, all the blitz players like who's the first one on blitz so if i want to know the game type so i can i can either simply you know go to go to my uh, account and then see the names blitz bullet what kind of name is there so i can just say create a game and then i can say what kind of game that i wanted to do or if i do not want to do that i also can use this um use this uh, get all top 10 and then from that i can pick what kind of game i want for so that that is another thing that i can do so what we just did is we got the top 10 leaderboard i just should say leaderboard leaderboard so let's say instead of doing all these things i want to get information for a particular you know particular user so let, let me say that i want to get information about myself in this case you can get this information about but anyone but uh, if i want to get information about myself what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the rating history so i'll go here uh, let me call it rating history rating history okay we go here and then say rating history and you have to give the username username is equal to in this case it is little coder so if you see the rating history uh, you would see the categories for which i have played game or um, whatever username you are providing so it could be like bullet and uh, blitz 
so it, it goes uh, you know in the same order there is nothing for rapid there is nothing for classical there is nothing and there is something for puzzle so this is this is the way and there is something for ultra bullet so this is the way you can actually um, uh, find something uh, rating history if you want to look for let's say only for bullet then you can just simply go with your uh, first element which is uh, because it's python you go with the zeroth index and then you can see uh, name is bullet so it's uh, it, it it is uh, like a typical uh, json file right so you've got a key value pair so for the first key is name and then the value is bullet and then the second uh, key um, element sorry is uh, points and then the value is a list for that so if you want to access that then you can say um points and then now you would get only uh, this element so now this is a list now you can probably pass this list and make a visualization out of it or um, whatever you want to do with this thing probably you want to track your progress make a forecasting model on top of it to say that uh, uh, if you are if you if you follow the same trend probably when will you reach um, when will you reach uh, a particular game or probably you can take this data and then correlate with other information saying that uh, i had a bad day in office uh, whether my rating dropped in this particular day so you can do uh, a number of things you can do all these all these kind of things uh, with this uh, rating history and there are a lot more in, imp in, uh, important things um, in fact you know you can create challenge from this you can look at board you can export your game details with this uh, you can start your broadcast you can create a bot so you can do a lot of things um, but um, i would probably you know limit uh, this particular video with this uh, because the objective of this video is to help you get started with um, a leeches api and uh, introduce you how you can quickly uh, connect your um, uh, leeches api um, with uh, your, the python module and then start getting information about your account or uh, any account that you want to see information about you can even uh, build uh, an app on top of it if you want so there are a bunch of examples that you can look at um, what you can do how you can do and also please uh, have a look at uh, rate limiting um, because that's something that is very important a lot of people uh, when they want to create uh, when they want to use an api uh, they just they just i think the name uh, berserk uh, berserk uh, will probably tell you that um, if you are playing on leeches probably if it is like a minute uh, match uh, so when you berserk so you would get only 30 seconds it's so the same way people uh, ruthlessly or uh, i should say recklessly use um, apis please don't be like that uh, understand the rate limiting uh, this is an open source platform uh, nobody is paying for this so please uh, respect that uh, the 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 liberty that they have given uh, and that's that's all about this video uh, finally what i wanted to also show is uh, if you do not want to use your api anymore all you have to do is go to token api token and then um, you can delete the api so whatever it says that uh, created 10 minutes ago it was used six minutes ago and uh, you can delete it so that uh, nobody can use this token anymore so the token that we used here is not going to be valid so i'll post this google collab uh, on the github my github account and then share it in the description of this video and i hope this video was really helpful for you at least to get started with uh, leeches api uh, if you are interested in chess leeches is some an amazing platform there are a lot of amazing uh, streamers that you can check on leeches and um, uh, i hope uh, it'll be helpful for you if you want to play chess or analyze chess or build a bot about chess what, whatever you want to do um, if you have any comments please let me in the comment section if you face any difficulties uh, please let me know i'll try to help my best um, until next video stay safe uh, take care bye